Heading to Arkansas now. Parents have already had to spend months with their kids while adapting to virtual learning. Now some at the middle at the Crossit Middle School are having to do it all over again. NBC 10's Gabrielle Pfeiffer spoke with some of those parents as their kids face the remote challenges for a second time. Is she really going to learn? First off, you know, um, how can I help her? Questions many parents like Ava Conville are asking themselves tonight after one case of COVID-19 at the Crossing Middle School has a number of students home for this week. I think it's more of like the second case, but it wasn't as bad as it is now where they're quarantined seventh and eighth grade. Conville is home quarantining with her eighth grade daughter who is awaiting her test results. Not only is she worried about her daughter contracting the virus, but she's nervous of how this remote learning will go. And mine also had a hard time last year, the end of last year, you know, learning remotely is hard because we parents don't know anything. But besides the learning gap, internet connectivity for students and even teachers will be the biggest problem they will all face. We share internet here and sometimes it just goes out. And so it would be better off to have our own internet you know, but I can't afford that. How long exactly will this last? Superintendent Gary Williams says at least until the end of this week and possibly even next week, depending on the number of teachers that are still out. We're going to eventually have to close these schools to keep these kids safe and the teachers in the administration. Williams assured me that teachers who are quarantining are still able to work just at a distance. Parents say they believe the district is doing what they can. But I, I know that. I see that firsthand. But the spread of the virus in general isn't easing their worries. Conville just hopes those in the community and other parents can get together to make sure all of these students succeed. Figure out something that we can all do somehow to make sure everybody that make sure everybody, you know, someone doesn't get left behind. Reporting in Cross State, I'm Gabrielle Pfeiffer. Superintendent Gary Williams says there are currently three people at the high school who have tested positive and two people at the elementary school.